Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom, 5-star rated, over 5,000 reviews, guaranteed we beat Home Depot and Lowe's. The nation's largest discount appliance dealer, over 24 stores in 3 states, visit us at appliancefactory.com. Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back at you with some more wonderful animation this week. I gotta say I'm feeling a little blue today, because my favorite is filmer, and person who puts all of this face for radio together so you all like it, look it out there, look good, is Amber. She's leaving, so let's all wish her goodbye. Bye! But to digress a little bit, um, people have asked, why is there always a film left on my um, dishwasher? Well, two reasons. Many, many years ago, or not many, many years ago, everybody knows that what dishwasher soap is, whether it's a pellet, whether it's this, or whether it's detergent or liquid, doesn't matter. The issue is all of the active ingredients that make your dishwasher detergent work are hot water activated only. So the water has to be above 120 some odd degrees before it will actually clean your dishes properly. Now that doesn't mean it won't bubble and suds, but it won't clean your dishes properly, okay? And now that we have the energy efficient dishwashers, the temperature has been lowered and the amount of water used has been lowered. So the other thing is your rinse aid. You have to have a rinse aid in your dishwasher now. Because the old dishwashers, they would get, basically they would heat like a dryer and heat and dry all of the water off of everything in your uh, dishwasher. Well, they don't do that anymore. They just get warm enough to get your hard plates and your state or silverware warm enough to drip dry, but your plastics and things like that will not get hot enough to actually function properly. So you have to use a rinse aid. I'm not saying Cascade's the best, I'm not saying any of them are best. Different water hardnesses have different values what these will work with. So experiment with small bottles, find out the one works best for you and you will be doing great. And remember, if your dishwasher is five feet from your um, faucet turning off and on, you're probably not gonna have hot water inside your dishwasher. Best thing is to do is turn the faucet on, get the water hot the faucet, then turn on your dishwasher. That should take care of a lot of your problems, folks. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and come back next week for some more wonderful information. Have a good week. Online or locally, save at appliancefactory.com. Click the link to learn more.